Okay, guys, so we got a brand new treat from Bethesda the last 24 hours. We got Skyrim Special Edition 1573 that you have been just waiting for. So you can jump on that, on that creation club and get yourself Umbra and Shadowfoot Sanctum, Arms of Chaos and Spell Knight Armor. Um, well, probably some bug fixes here and there. Who knows? Probably, but not, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it because when you it updates one five seven three when you're not when you're not looking, you go to play Skyrim, and you find that your SKSE sixty four no longer works either, because it's for a different version of Skyrim. In this case, by the way, one point five point six two. So that's the problem. Um, can't play with your own mods. So you either have to disable the mods, uninstall them, try to find new versions, which never happens in the first day. Um, so pain, pain in the butt. I don't upgrade often, once a year, if that. This is not the time. So what I would do instead is use, and if you have not already installed this program, it will do you no good. You have to have it running. Skyrim SEXE or the backup. And it makes a backup. It's a new exe is introduced it, it goes into other backup executable in the skyrim system folder click on there look for the newest one and this is 1562 right here that is the one we most likely want yep 1562 that's it guys then you copy that back to the uh skyrim special edition system folder right there paste it on boom um, that's it, restored. Well, see, that's what this gives you. But if you did not do that, you're going to have to download the EXE back from Steam and copy to, copy to the right place. And you have two options. You can either use this write-up right here on how to get the necessary data so we can execute the commands to download the old Skyrim EXE from Steam. Uh, pretty complete, so worth reading sooner or later. Um, and then you will have in hand this piece of paper. And it has some lines you need to run to download the previous version of Skyrim. Uh, Windows R to get the run command. Then you will type only this part here, not no code. No symbols at the end or characters, so it'd be just that. Okay, you will take that, you will paste it and run, and there's your console right there at the bottom. And there, you would need to copy and paste this line first, and then, then do this line. And after that, you gotta go and go copy paste. The Skyrim SCXE from the Steam Maps content number folder, depot number folder to, to, to again to the system as a SSE special edition root folder right here. Um, that will work. Um, it's a pain in the butt though. Um, and if you don't, you can either Google for this command line for the version you are trying to, to restore. Um, Google has the information or well, use that website's write-up to figure out um, uh, what needs to be done. Anyway, guys, that's, that's what needs to happen now after this beautiful upgrade. Um, any questions, put them below and I will get to them. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.